coming to the anatomy you have the ascending aorta which comes from the aortic root and first is innominate artery followed by left common carotid artery and then the subclavian artery then distal to the patent ductus arteriosus you have the descending thoracic aorta then what is called proximal and the distal arch because we are going to deal with the interrupted arch you should know the definition of proximal and the distal arch proximal arch is that area between the innominate artery and the left common carotid artery and the distal arch is the space between the left common carotid and the left subclavian artery and the part distal to the left subclavian artery where the ductus joint is the isthmus beyond this it is the descending thoracic aorta this is the anatomy of arch ascending and the descending aorta so what is the classification of a b and c what is type a type a here the interruption is in the isthmus in type b the interruption is in the distal arch and in type c the interruption is in the proximal arch so type c is proximal arch type b is distal arch and type a is the isthmus now coming to type a here the disruption is located distal to the left subclavian artery and it is the second most common type accounting for about 13% of the cases but in adult it forms about 79% making the most commonest form in the adult interrupted aortic arch coming to type b here the lesion is located between the left common carotid and the left subclavian artery and this is the most common anomaly representing around 84% of the cases another main anomaly which is associated with type b interrupted aortic arch is the abrupt right subclavian artery now coming to type c which is located in the proximal arch it is located between the innominate artery and the left common carotid artery it's a rare type accounting for only 3% of all cases and the sub classification depends upon the origin of the subclavian artery in type 1 there is normal origin of the left subclavian artery now coming to the sub classification which is based on the origin of the subclavian artery in type 1 there is normal origin of subclavian artery in type 2 there is a abrupt right subclavian artery found distal to left subclavian artery and in type 3 is isolated right subclavian artery found originating from the right patent ductus arteriosus